to sneak up on her. just want to try and do it so you, you don't stress them out, just nice and slowly. Do you think she's going to be hungry? Oh yeah, she's so cute. Here, pass that and I'll help you. Okay. Hello okay. oh, gorgeous. Oh, hang on, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay Tara. Here we go, a fresh fig. Ooh, yummy. For the beautiful little Wampu fruit, fruit dove. dove. That's right. Now she we have so to... cute, actually, just got to mention, wrapped up like a, I don't know what, like a, a burrito. A burrito. <laughs> Tara needs to hand feed this birdie burrito. Because when they're in care or in rehabilitation, they don't eat. Because they're rainforest birds, they actually feed right up in the top of the canopy. Look in the that. rainforest. Do they go down straight like yeah. whole? Yeah, they have a very big crop, so they swallow big fruit. Can we go for another? Yeah, let's do it. We'll go one more. She was found on the ground, and we're unsure what happened to her, but she had a few feathers missing. Mm -hmm. A wing And injury. she couldn't fly, yeah. So she had a wound on the side of her wing, and she's just regrowing her feathers now. Tara's a wildlife carer for Wild Care Australia, and you guessed it, her specialty is birds. I've been caring for about two and a half years now, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just awesome. This kookaburra is in rehab after flying into a window. Cue the kookaburra. <laughs> Sing. Cook, 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 cook. That's not very good. <laughs> and keep going, she might do it. Cook, 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 cook. <laughs> That's a very sick kookaburra. <laughs> She's not impressed. I'm just going to check on these masked lapwing eggs just to see, make sure the temperature is good. Yep. And I'm going to put the feather duster on because that's like, that's like mum laying on them. And then keep them nice and warm. All right, let's take a moment to have a sneak peek in Tara's freezer. Ooh, she's very organised. Okay, what's she got? Oh, lots of frozen peas, frozen corn, little lily pillies in there I can see, some native figs that looks like mashed pawpaw. Lots more mashed pawpaw. It's frozen worms, frozen crickets. This is the Wampu fruit dove's favourite. These are the beautiful native figs. So organised. Okay, back to the birds. So through here. Do they get very spooked? They do. You have to move quite slowly. Yeah. Oh, hang oh on. they're down there. Yeah. That's wow. On top of the heat lamp to stay warm. What are they? Pacific coals, or also known as the eastern coal. They travel a lot. Those birds, <laughs> they don't they? They do. They're migratory birds, and they actually travel to the north of, northeast of Australia and also up to Papua New Guinea. There's the kookaburra. <laughs> Finally. Each and every bird that winds up in Tara's rehab facility has a true friend in her. She has the knowledge and the dedication to get them back out into the wild where they belong.